Okay, so we're going to go from this to this. Okay, first step is removing the surround from the dash. There's no tools required, just your hands. So start off in the top corner and pull out and pull out and literally it comes apart. Once you've got it out, lay it down. Now these wires here, this is for your air conditioning. We're going to take the circuit board out of here, which we're going to use after. So remove these three clips, like so. And uh, now that is apart. So what we have to do now is, sorry about this, we have to remove the ducts, because they are going to go on the unit, and these yellow clips. So how we do that is, these three tabs, just pull back slightly and whilst you do that twist this out a bit so they pop out like so so that side's free there is another clip on the other side here we have to take that one there off as well so just pull back now I'm doing this one handed and videoing like so and then up the top here just unclip that one and then that will pop out like so and that's the first vent you do the same on the other side under the clips under the clip on the inside and under the one at the top and that'll pop out so you could actually do the inside one first now I'm doing this one-handed and then pull these out Uh, that unclips like that and then that one that's how easy it is they come out now the clips you're going to need a little screwdriver or a pick to get in behind both sides and pop the clips out I'll do that now so you can see them little tabs in there that's uh, what you've got to because they slide in like so and you've got to take them out of that little tab so once you've got all four tabs out the next part is the module in here so on the side you've got clips just pull the clips out it's very easy it's not hard at all and same on the other side and that pops off so that comes off now this is the unit we need this module here so just pull that out and be careful of that tab you need to keep that ribbon cable uh, intact just in case so on here there is or mine there's a little brown clip pull the clip out and it literally comes out like that so that module there keep that now with the unit you need to put this in this controls your AC so the only thing I found a problem with this is it does not give you anything to put this in so I actually have made a model and 3d printed a case which holds this and the module that comes with the unit um, if you need that you can hit me up and um, I'll get one printed up for you and send it out. That is that is all for that part. You need to, oh, you can put it all back together. Put that in there, clip that in. So that's all the parts of the fascia. Okay, so it's time to take the head unit out. We're going to undo the screws. Four screws holding it in. Now, if you have a standard head unit, everything is basically unplug and plug it straight into the harness that is supplied by EC Off Road. All these plugs, you can only put the plug in with the correct matching um, 
male female socket but otherwise don't force anything because then you'll have problems okay so this is the plug off the head unit the old head unit now it did look a bit messy in there before that's because i had all the wires i've got two sets of wires in here um but just make sure i have my this is my trigger for my reverse camera this is the handbrake cable you have to well you should have this connected um so whilst you're driving you cannot watch videos movies on your head unit whilst driving there are ways around it but you can literally turn it off in the settings it's that easy i prefer to connect everything so there's no loose wires hanging around and this one here is for my tire cameras i'll show you that after okay so once you've removed all the plugs you should have six one two three four five six so this here is for the main power and everything to the head unit this one here is uh, that and speakers that's speakers as well this one here is for the steering controls now i have the ac controls on mine as well but that is aftermarket so i'm going to try to work out how to put them connect them to the new unit um so that's what they them ones there are for and then the three down the bottom that's for your ac that's for your hazards and i think that's part of the ac as well so you need to just make sure when you're taking wires out or disconnecting wires tag them so you know what they are um, in this case i already know what mine are because i've taken this thing apart quite a few times but it's always good just a bit of masking tape around it and write on that what it actually is used for so that's it and now what we'll do is we can get the harness this is the harness for the new head unit and plug in the first well there's only three at the top so we'll plug in them first three so you have them three connected one two and three and this one fell down the back that is your antenna so you have to connect the antenna as well okay so once you've got all four of them connected out of all of this these wires do have tags on them uh, you're going to the only one you're going to have to manually connect up or I have to put a crimp on mine uh, which is that is for the handbrake so I'm going to connect that one now now once all they are connected plus the brake you will have two female plugs spare now I'm guessing by following the wires, if you have the factory reverse camera, that is for the reverse camera. And this one here, to me, it, it looks like it goes to the controls, which just piggybacked off the controls for the um, steering wheel, key one and two. So I don't actually know what that one there is for. My car doesn't have any extra plugs. As you can see, it's pretty bare in there. But that's it. So that's the first lot of plugs. Then we have this here, which is for your AC. And then this one here is the keys for the controls for the AC, which has to be plugged in the back of the unit. This one here. On this one here we have line in so this is the one i'll be using for my reverse camera because mine's not a factory reverse camera um, on here it has now reverse means you're going backwards so back is the trigger wire for the reverse camera my reverse trigger has a female spade connector on it 
so I have gone ahead and put a spade connector on the trigger wire now that that's done we will neaten up this wiring a bit so there's not so much wires hanging around and this is the complete wrap so I like to electrical tape don't go all the way to the end because you need some movement in the wires but all I did was tape up these which is for the AC module and then the return wire for the head unit so it's got enough play there to move around everything else is taped up with all the extra parts and now it's basically plugging into the head unit so this module here connects to the head unit now this will allow your air conditioning to work so like I said earlier this module needs a place in this circuit board what I have done is I 3d printed this which will house the circuit board in the bottom section and this clips into that part there what we have to do now is run this wire through the hole connect it to that and then we have to connect the ribbon cable supplied to the circuit board that's the module installed now we have to do the ribbon so make sure this little tab is pulled up before you put the ribbon in and the ribbon goes in only one way otherwise you're gonna have to pull it all apart and do it again so it actually goes in the shiny tabs go in this way goes in the way that way once you push that in then push the tabs down and that'll click and lock in now you see that that is no good that is crooked you have to put it in I'll pull the tabs back out make sure it's firmly seated in and then push the tabs down that is the correct way so on the unit that's how it looks so you've got the front connectors at the front and the blue tab there we go all locked up cables going in and then we can plug the factory cables back into that what I've done is I put mine and I'll feed it through the back and sit it there where the old AC used to go and then plug the cables in now I might um, to keep everything nice and tidy cable tie that or okay now that's in its spot we have to connect all the other components so there is the brown plug which has two USBs I've fed mine through that little hole so I can put my music and stuff on and then I also have another one which runs at the back behind my dash which has the tire pressure management system on it so I can run the tire pressures on the head unit as well any other accessories you want to put plug into it um, this is the time to do it and the GPS module this has to go in as well I find the support bar because it has a magnet on it it sits there nicely okay so we have the unit now all the parts the vents and the little clips you have to put on so we'll start off with the clips which is the easy part clips clip in 
like so. And the other one. And the vents, basically, the same way you took them out, the same way they go back in. Now you have to line up that tab in there, sit it on, never force anything. Now just double check, you have to make sure, now see here on this side here, we don't have that tab, there we go, that tab's lined up now. On that side, and these tabs here are lining up. Now, your little pick or your, guys, I've got a little screwdriver and we want to go in here. The tab clicks in. Same with these. Now at this point you probably want to check to make sure that everything's lining up. So that's all lined up, which is good. And then these you just want to click, click, click. That's in. And the one at the top, click. So that's it. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so now that they're both in, good time to check, make sure everything is still working, everything lines up, everything's moving correctly, so that's that part. We're at the back of the head unit, and we're going to plug all the cables in, and you notice these plugs are all different shapes. Do not try and plug in, push, jam, whatever you want to do. Don't push, put the wrong plugs in the wrong spot. So you can't, if it doesn't want to go in, don't put it in. That's it. It's easy as that. You have your GPS and your Wi-Fi antennas. You have to connect them and obviously your antenna. Then you've got your HDMI cable and next to that one there is for the external mic. Cables are plugged in now. Antennas are plugged in. Oh sorry, Wi-Fi and GPS. Now we'll get the don't forget your reverse camera. And that's my extra camera. And we need to find The antenna, we need the antenna. So we have to plug that in. I'm gonna to have to use two hands for this. I'll lift it up, plug that in, and then basically insert, done. So the wires are all in and inserted. Don't want to, any wires hooked up because you need to Plug into there. It's easy as one, two, three. There we go. It's all in. Now we'll just do a quick test. Ignition is on. All the red side. That always happens. Here we go. Look at that. So on startup, that is the Fortuna, which is very similar in setup to the Hilux, as in all the electronicals and stuff. Um, and yeah, on startup it does take a while because it's got to load up everything. And once that's done, there we go, we got Android, and it will come to the main menu. Look at that. What a beast. Um, and that's it. There we go. That's installed, ready to go. Now the AC, uh, good to know 
because I've taken this unit out and done the video, all the controls are still working. Even the controls on the steering wheel, they all work. Uh, we did have a problem at the start with the AC not working. What we found out is that when I got it, if your unit starts up and it has a different picture than the Fortuna, it might have the Tundra on there. Now, you have to go to settings, and then in settings, oh, that's another feature too, they come up as half screens. So it's a half screen, and if you touch it again, it'll bring it up to full screen. So in here, if yours does not work, install set. Now, there is a number, which I'm not going to tell you, because you're better off calling. If yours does not work, you're better off calling up EC Off-Road and let them direct you through the steps. Well, I just put the code in and you have to select car type and then in here you have to select Toyota Fortuna High. I, I, I've tried the other one and it does not work because there's two, there's a high and a low. High and then it'll say select the model which is the new type, not the old type. And as you can see I've already customised. I put my um, car as a back screen and that's it and that is that done then you can go through the settings and play around with it the GPS and all that stuff all this stuff up here you can customize to what you want it's got your connect for iPhone and it's got connect for Android phones your Bluetooth all that stuff App Store I've connected to Wi-Fi and it's all there. You have, um, I don't know how to do this yet. I'm still playing around with it all. Um, but yeah, I'll get there. It is an awesome unit. So as I said before, I've got my um, extra camera. That camera is for my front wheels. When I'm forward driving, sometimes it's good to see what you're going over um, and helps you pick a line, especially with the ruts and stuff to get out of the ruts and any other obstacles you can get. So, go into applications, auxiliary, and there we go. There's my front wheels, as you can see. I can move around and it, that actually does help a lot actually one last thing say goodbye to your ashtray you can but still you've got a pair of tweezers to get your coins out